What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have some interesting news. Uh, not really news, it's more of a theory from uh, Water Pokemon Master. They're kind of like the, that's the person we read most of our articles from PokeBeach.com. And he has a very interesting theory that I am super excited about. And that concerns the timing of releases for Pokemon sets between like the English and Japanese. So let's go to his page. Uh, so as always, PokeBeach.com, Water Pokemon Master. Uh, I feel like <laughs> he keeps us always informed. And he has very interesting news. And I tried to highlight the kind of like, this is a bit of a long post. It's kind of like to go through different evidence, but let's just kind of go through with his hypothesis. And so, our, the English Sword and Shield set will come to the US in early February. So this is super way down the road. We're talking six months from now so like it's quite far out there but I, I'm really excited for when this kind of happens or if it happens but let's keep going all right so for Japan they will get their V deck so that's like the sword and shield that new evolve uh, thing maybe it'll replace GX maybe it'll re be new like the was it mega something other other V <laughs> V max that's what it's kind of maybe it'll be like mega again uh, so they'll get their V-Bet decks end of November and their uh, first Sword and Shield set in December 8th. So it's like it's unclear. Uh, this maybe the speculation is that this will be the last time like Japan the Japanese sets are like kind of like these small increments. And then they'll get their first Sword and Shield subset um, on February 7th, which happens to be the same date as the English uh, full set of the first like Sword and Shield set. And so the speculation here is like, oh man, we're kind of lining up. And maybe that means that, you know, we'll be on the same uh, uh, kind of like release cycle going forward. Uh, this means that the first time in TCG's history that won the set, Sword and Shield, has the same street date as the Japanese V Rising that is releasing the same new cards. So it's not the exact same set. Again, the, the English set will have... Um, the cards from the decks or like we do know it's gonna be a 202 card set and the rough math from the Japanese sets from the decks the main their first set and then the subset uh, looks to be equal about that 200 so the speculation is like oh we're kind of lining up and then maybe that means that going forward like everything will line up and that part's still kind of awkward so like there still is a bit of a delay where like the English sets is every three months and then Japanese like every month so they get like more frequent updates but then we get like the big uh it's kind of like they get little patch note patches and then like we get the big update with all like the past three months so uh, this is really exciting to me just because it, it kind of like really closes the gap between the delay um i feel like especially in this day and age like information is everywhere and i'm always looking looking forward to learn about the latest and greatest of like the new cards and new mechanics and stuff like that and now like today is very much a situation like oh my gosh this new this new card is coming out and it's like for english like no kind of like snooze button that thing for like three months before then oh yeah reminder like oh look at this new card yeah we talked about that like three months ago for the japanese set and that will kind of like uh really uh be minimized to a degree uh, so that some of the uh, the tail end of like that three month period, like is, uh, when Japanese set gets it, the English set will get it as well. Uh, so that's something I'm really excited about. Um, some people were speculating in comments that like, oh well, the games are kind of working that way, so it makes sense to do this. Uh, and I think it's great. Um, you know, I, no one likes the idea of being like the last to get something. I mean, I feel like Hidden Fates is like a perfect example where like. The pin collections, they're, they're, they're really hard to find and, you know, that, that FOMO is really, really active and to a point where, like, you know, there's, like, price gouging going on where if you want to buy an eBay, you have to pay, like, double the MSRP. Um, that's kind of, it's a different example of, to me, like, the same idea of, like, you know, no one likes to get it last. Uh, we want to be up, uh, get it as early as possible. In fact, like, that's the only reason I buy Japanese sets. Like, I don't really collect the sets, I collect the promos. And as, as long as there's still exclusive promos, like I'll still like try to collect some of the Japanese ones. Um, but maybe those are going away too, then I can kind of like fully uh, devote into like the English sets. But um, yeah, I, that's the only ironic part to me. I'm not sure how many people, uh, I'm sure it's the vast minority, but 
I have to imagine a lot of people that buy the Japanese sets they're basically um, not from Japan or don't speak Japanese uh, they purchased the Japanese sets just to look see the cards early kind of like have them like kind of like a sneak peek kind of thing So I feel like that's the only ironic part, but I feel like it's great news at least for myself, and I'm super excited um, So let me know what your thoughts are um, I feel like maybe maybe doesn't con concern a whole lot of people if, if you know like Cool, I didn't pay that much attention to to the Japanese sets as well uh, but you know I think people for myself that like to just stay up to date on the latest and greatest news um, super excited about it so it's quite a ways down the road but let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below and um, yeah as always guys thanks for watching I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time